Hey guys, I made some uh, PCSX2 videos before about how to configure a controller. Uh, this video is going to be about how to configure multiple controllers. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way up to 8 controllers uh, using the multi-tap as well. Because uh, configuring two controllers is pretty easy, but uh, some people might not understand how to uh, configure and properly configure the uh, multi-tap. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, explain that to you. First of all, as usual, you want to make sure all the controllers, however many you use, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, whatever, make sure they're all plugged in, connected, and turned on, activated and everything, before you load up the emulator. Okay? Emulator needs to be off, and then you turn them on, and then turn the emulator on. It's very important, otherwise the emulator won't read it. Alright, once all that crap's done, go ahead and go to config. Go to controllers, go to plugin settings. You see this big thing here. I already have it selected. You're going to just come down here, you'll see pads. Port 1 multi tap, port 2 multi tap. As you know, the PlayStation 2 has two physical ports in it for controllers. So you can put in two multi taps. And a multi tap typically will have uh, four ports on it. So you're turning one into four. So you can make these uh, four, four, you'll make it so you have a total of. Uh, eight controller ports. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and we'll just do the first one. So now that this is just basic now. You know you have your first controller that's plugged into the physical first port and then your second controller that would be plugged into your physical second port. As you can see here mine's blank. But so, you know it's just generic and if you want to have two controllers then you just get your second controller and you just configure it and then click apply and you're good to go. Now, if you want to do more than that, if you're playing like a football game or something, I'm not really sure what game will use like eight players, but for whatever reason, uh, you go ahead and go to port one. You'll click on that, and this will give you an option to add on four extra controllers to the first uh, to the first slot. Okay. Now, I've already configured this actually for myself uh, for the first slot here, but if you want to add even more players, you want to add more. You want to add four more. Just click, just click the uh, port two multi tap, and that's going to go ahead and uh, load up four more for you. And again, you just everybody whoever has their own controllers will configure their own. Don't use one controller for uh, everybody. Make sure that they use their controller when they're doing it. So it's be player one, player two, player three, player four, five, six. Oops, excuse me. Let me do that again just to make sure you don't get confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and player eight. Okay, and I'm going to show you, go ahead and show you guys that in action. Now, there's also one more critical step you have to do to get it to work, and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so I got my two controllers on, just using two players, but I'm going to use two players through a multi tap. So basically, this is like me taking a multi tap and plugging it into the first player slot, and then plugging two controllers into it instead of just plugging it in itself. You know, hey, I want to be different. So go ahead and do that, configure them up there. So I'll leave that on there, and I click apply and I click OK. Now, if I want to go ahead and play my game, it's not going to work. And why is that? Well, you need to go into config, you need to activate the multi-taps. So once you go into controllers and plug-in settings, and you activate them in here, this will allow you to configure them. For them to actually work in game, you must click on multi-tap 1 and multi-tap 2. If you're only using one, you obviously only have to click on one. If you're only using the second port, you just have to click on the second port. If you're using both, obviously you get the picture. So I'm going to go ahead and just activate multi-tap 1, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys it working. Now you can see that my controllers are set up with the ports, the multi-taps, not just regular. Now let's, we're going to boot up uh, SmackDown so I can get two players. Uh, let me yeah, let's reboot the whole game. Let me get this in view so you guys can see it all. It might flicker a minute. Don't worry about that. If it flickers when uh, this picture's here, it does that for some stupid reason. That's just my game. It's not uh, probably should, probably won't happen to you. See, just want to warn you guys in case you epileptic seizures. Let's 
skip this. I just have the first player controller in my hand right now. Skip all this. Get into the game. Alright, we'll go ahead and go to exhibition and we'll do a handicap match. Do a one on two with two players. You'll see that it's got three players activated because I have all the pads activated. I have all the multi taps on there and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that two players. And I'm going to get uh, both of us on the same side. Continue. Now you can see I can select everything with my first person. I'm going to go ahead and grab my second controller. And it works! Now I'm going to show you what happens when you don't I'll take off multi-tap. I got the second controller in my hand and I'm pushing buttons. Nothing happens. See? You must have that activated. Otherwise it will not work. So we'll go ahead and activate it. Oops. And now we can select again. We'll be uh Second player would be Triple H. Go back to the, go back to the first player. Oops. That will be Stone Cold. And we'll fight the Rock. And we'll go on Smack. And we'll play it. Nice steroids, Vince. Yeah, it might be a little bit slow because I'm recording. Uh, and this game's pretty demanding by itself. So excuse that. Again, sorry about the flashing. I just want to show you guys me both players moving in game. There we go. Oh, I don't know why my guy is being stupid. Well, oh, second player's moving around out here. I think I, oh, I got something messed up in the settings, but anyway, as you saw before, it works. You can control both people now, see? So, there you go. You'll be able to use uh, however many controllers you want on it. And, goodbye.